So I thought before we get this up and running, let's just have a look in the bottom end of this and just take the bottom plate off and uh, see what the big end looks like on this engine. So let's, um, let's have a look. You can see here, you so you can see in now, you can see we've got a crank that's in two pieces. So the main part with the pin driving the flywheel and then you can see this drives the camshaft by the back here. That's nice. The uh, Looking at the comrod, it's looking fairly solid. Let me see if I can get some more light on it. So, so oh, that helps a bit, look. So you can see a bit more inside it now. And as I said, you can see that. So you can see the side of the sides of the webs there. If I just rotate it back a bit, you can see that the pin driving the other end of the crankshaft and you can even see down into the small end of the piston let's just rotate that over there so you can see that there they are so now you can see the underside of the piston um, and we can see also that there's a, a separate liner in this engine as well You'd expect that wouldn't you also nice copper gasket around this bottom cover which is why i had a little bit of trouble getting it off but let's put that back in it goes back in and then we'll drop all the bolts back in and we fix that up let's have a look at the top end of this engine This is exciting. Let's look at the piston and top end. Let's see what sort of uh, design we've got going on here. It's not all free. Oh, maybe not. head off this engine. A little bit of work. There's the aha so what we've got I was expecting to take the head off and the head comes off as a separate part. That's interesting isn't it? So we have a you can see there where the plug comes down into there. We've got a, <laughs> I love that heart shaped port, rather nice. We now get to see, there's a little bit of, tiny bit of dirt on there but not much. And now we can see, piston. so that's the exhaust valve opening, intake valve opening. Yeah, we come up. Exhaust closed, intake open. Yep, it's lovely, isn't it? So let's just look at those. You can just see those. Oops, sorry, it's me touching the screen to get it to focus there. So you can see the valve guides there, and the seats all made in one part. Lovely, right. Put that back on and we'll tighten that all up. Brilliant. 
So I'm just going to put this the exhaust on and the gasket on. So what I've got is I've got the gasket and I've got the the steel plate that holds the exhaust in place. So I put the exhaust through. I just run it through there. Then that you can see that exhaust lines up on there. And there's a tiny screw goes in that side. Haha. <laughs> Not so easy with it. And I dropped it. Uh, oh, I found it. Right, so I might just these um these these there are um Allen keys are fabulous because they've got that ball joint at the end. And it's when you've got jobs like this, they come into their own. Because you can just about get a purchase onto those bolts. I'm gonna just lift the exhaust out of the way while I just get an initial. There, that's it. Right, that's in. So I can get. Yeah, I can tighten that one down a bit. Just my fingers, and then just as I said with this ball joint. Fabulous they are for that. And then we've got to get the carburetor on there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the, the bolts through. Put the bolts through that carburetor. And I'm going to drop the copper washer over there. There you are. Fabulous. Now I'm going to put that down onto there and yeah that's it let's just get this one in as well it's take a little bit of work to get in Yep, that one's going in. So we've got we put those in. We'll just tighten those up and then we've got the carburetor fitted. And the exhaust fitted. Now let's just I think these I must admit these these bolts are very odd that we seem to have a mix of metric and uh, model engineering threads. Um, and these little bolts aren't that accurate to the now that could be fun um, these bolt heads aren't that accurate so tighten them up fairly tight you have to be careful you do have to be careful with these allen keys because they're rather long you can get rather a good, too good a purchase on these bolts. That one's going to be difficult. Not sure we can get enough in there. No, I'll find another Allen key for that in a sec. Right, so we've got this carburetor on. I need a mark on the on the needle because um, I've got to wind it out two turns to start with. We've got this on here, wound in. What I might do is change that plug and put a change it from spark to glow plug, because it'd be quite nice to just run this as a glow engine first, just to get a little bit of uh, confidence in it. Maybe is that the right word? I think so. It runs that way. Oh yeah, that's lovely. But with a, there you are, so that's good. We're there. 